You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you don't know your boy brutal sim on the scene wicked then mean with a next video for y'all man so you all know what it is by now take some time out bless up your boy like up the video definitely help the channel like because you know your boy and I always keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2k community so it seems like Ticino has finally come back to the 2k community you know he has been busy as hell with all these nfts and cryptos and right now he actually tells himself man he's been so focused on that man it's hard to kind of prime away from that but anyways he's back here he's streaming and there's something about him being back that is good for the 2k community i ain't gonna front any time Ticino is that is like constantly streaming and constantly uploading that's when the community tends to do its best but anyways let's get to some of the main things he spoke about one thing he did address was the 2k viewership dying you know a lot of people right now is associating or trying to associate it with how 2k is but here are his thoughts check this out nice 2k viewership done bro i think one thing you guys don't understand it's not just 2k viewership it's like literally twitch viewership like ever since the ever since the pandemic happened you guys gotta understand that was a big spike like there were twitch stats recently that showed that the pandemic made such a huge spike in twitch viewership it was insane and obviously since everyone's like back outside now it's just changed a lot yeah i'm not gonna lie i was checking like 2k not like not 19 2k 18 and 19 views <laughs> compared to now and it's not that different uh, it's the same thing. I was there in the whole yeah. in the whole scene. Like it was the same thing. Twitch has never uh, been big to 2K. It never yeah, has been big to 2K. Like the biggest it's ever been without the pandemic was like back when Fredo and like well those guys were streaming. Like, yeah, like a blow up video on on 2K19 was like 300k. I was like, damn. Yeah. If you don't include the Fredo days, it was yeah. Fredo days, a blow up video on 2K was like a million. Nah, I said I said like 2K19, 18, like 300k or, or 250k is pretty fucking good. Good going. Yeah, of course, yeah. 2K18, that was huge. No one got yeah. that, really. No one got that. Except, like, on, like, highlight videos. It's yeah, I'm weird, doing good, Orlando. I'm doing good, bro. In my mind, I, I thought it was way bigger, but then I actually went and looked, like, the other day, and I was like, hang on a minute. Yeah, I think a lot of people, um, like, fall into the thing where they see something high for a certain amount of time, and then they think it's going to be high, or it has to go high forever. It's kind of like... Bro, the, the lockdown was so big, and people don't. I think some people don't take it into consideration how big it was for Twitch. Like the Twitch stats literally show it. Twitch stats have gone down so much since lockdown ended. Now, basically, what he's saying, man, is not just 2K. It's Twitch overall, and it has been drastically affected since the pandemic, man. And that's basically what Corey was trying to show when he tweeted out a bunch of tweets, and I did cover that, of course. After the pandemic, there was a huge spike when it comes to viewership, when it comes to video games overall, and when it comes to streams, when it comes to YouTube, all that. And a lot of people blew up. A lot of people got some, a lot of momentum off that. But now that people are going back out, they are feeling it. They are feeling it because not the same viewers are there. People are now busy. People are now getting back to their lives, man. And one thing he did say, Twitch stats overall went down. And there are actually statistics that you can't find to, act, to link that to, right? Now, the next thing he spoke about was the upcoming legend grind. You know right now what's going on. Everyone is just getting that level 40 and chilling. Get that level 40 and chilling. But he does anticipate that day one there are going to be legends. He actually went so far to say he hoped the last season is harder, man. Check this Well, out. I'm going to upload any more. I will be. I will be. Let me just get this level 40. I want to get legend in this game. Which will be... Legend is going to be in like, what? 50 days, right, Splice? Nah, 40. 50. <laughs> Nah, nah. How long is next season gonna be? 40 days? 48 days. Okay, so that means Legend will be in 58 days, right? Yeah, no. Essentially. Why wouldn't it be? You still got 10 days here. Yeah, and then 48 next season. That's 58 days. And then people yeah, are gonna hit Legend on the first day of the next season. You reckon? It's first or second day, yes. No doubt. 
So you got you finish this season, finish next season, and then season after that you're gonna get. That's 58 days. Yeah, they might make it a bit harder for season four, maybe. Yeah, they could. That would actually be good if you get us that. I don't think people should be getting legend on the first day. It's four stars. Yeah, I know that chat. Chat. First season finished. Second season about to finish. Third season is gonna take 40 days. And then as soon as the fourth season starts, we got four stars. Because fourth season, we're gonna finish it in a day. And then we're gonna be legend. So that's like 48 days, am I wrong? 58 days. 58 days. 50, 58. If next season's 48 days, that's 58 days. Because plus 10 from this season. Yeah, so what are your thoughts on that? Me personally, I hope they keep it the same way, man. I ain't gonna front with y'all. Just get it over with so people can just play the game. And anyway, you take it, they're gonna get most people gonna have legends, but not everybody will have legends. Eventually, everyone, I think, could possibly get legend if they wanted to. But a lot of people don't even care about that, to be quite honest. Remember, you got the entire year. You only have to have four seasons it don't have to be four consecutive season you only need to get four seasons so i think eventually almost everyone who wants to get it will get it man let me know your thoughts do y'all think 2k should make it more difficult for that final season just to give some people a challenge of y'all think they should leave it at the same rate me right now i think it should stay the same rate because i know a lot of people like my guy big mac who got a job even jay easy he got certain, a lot of different things he's doing you know what i mean and jobs and stuff like that so he's on the grind so a lot of people just don't have the time to be grinding 2k like a lot of content creators do so i think that was 2k plan in the first place to get as much people to the legend as possible similar to cod man Cod been doing that season, making it achievable for the working people. Once you play Cod a few times a day, you could definitely hit that level 100 at every season. You know what I mean? So I think that's the format that they're keeping, man. So let me know your thoughts. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Sim, you know I'm going to always keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. And don't forget, your first time to the channel. Make sure, like the video share the video and hit your boy your sub subscribe if you're not your first time like the video share the video and never know who's gonna inform y'all your boy see more love respect bless up peace, peace.